Get up, stand up, exploring common English phrases. Hello, everyone. Today's video is all about understanding and using two common English phrases, get up and stand up. These phrases are widely used in everyday English, and knowing how to use them correctly can really enhance your language skills. So, let's dive in and explore what these phrases mean and how you can use them effectively. Get up is a phrasal verb that generally means to rise from a lying or sitting position. It's often used when someone is in bed or sitting down. For example, in the morning when you move from lying in bed to a standing position, you are getting up. Examples, morning routine, I get up at 6 a.m. every day. After sitting, please get up from the sofa and help me with this. Usage tips. Remember, get up emphasizes the action of moving from a non-standing position to a standing one. It can also be used metaphorically, like get up and seize the day, which means to start the day with enthusiasm. On the other hand, stand up refers specifically to the action of moving to a standing position from sitting or kneeling. It focuses more on the posture of standing. Examples, requesting someone to rise, could you please stand up for a moment? In a classroom, the teacher asked the student to stand up and answer the question. Usage tips, use stand up when the focus is on adopting a standing posture, especially from sitting. It can have figurative meanings too, like stand up for yourself, which means to defend yourself or your beliefs. While both phrases involve moving to a standing position, the context and nuance can differ. Context of use. Get up is more general and can be used in various situations, while stand up is more specific to the action of standing. Figurative meanings. Both can have metaphorical uses but differ in context. Get up can imply starting something or showing resilience, whereas stand up often involves taking a stance or position on something. We hope this video has helped clarify the meanings and uses of get up and stand up. Remember, understanding such nuances in English can significantly improve your fluency and comprehension. Keep practicing and don't hesitate to use these phrases in your daily conversations. See you in the next video and happy learning.